Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man X Hard Type. I I'm still where I was last time because I just didn't even really take a break between playing. I just kinda wanna, kinda wanna keep going. So Alright, I'm gonna need my shotgun ice here. Gotta remember that that exists sometimes because I guess it would be impossible to go through this stage without that arm's power up. So Ow. Well, now that I know you're there, maybe I can deal with you. Oh, it's more of these platforms that are not nearly as kind as in vanilla. Oh wow, what? Where was I supposed to go? I definitely can't use shotgun ice there. I don't have enough time for that animation to play. Oh, wow. Not sure how to get past that guy without taking hit either. Yeah, if I stand too close, he'll hit me with his head, but if I stand too far away... I guess I have to jump on that platform when it's at the back. Oops. I didn't realize I could hit the ceiling there. I still don't know how I'm supposed to take it, get past that guy without taking hit. I can't even use another weapon because I need shotgun ice to get over there. I mean, I guess maybe I could jump to the back wall and then... Uh, make a dash jump back to this spot, but that would be awkward, too. Or I could do this, uh, weird, uh, second jump thing uh, that I can do, but that seems risky. Yeah, like, how do I make that? With any reasonable certainty. I could try shotgun ice, I mean, don't knock it until I've tried it, right? But. Alright, let's see if this will work. Uh, about as well as expected, really. Now what happens if I just stay on that platform? I probably just get ejected through the ground, I think. I could always try that double jump thing, but again, it seems super risky. Yeah. I could hang off the left side of the platform. That could work, but it, seems, it also seems really difficult. We'll just have to see how this goes. Oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> Dolph, get over to the platform. Oh, how did that kill it? I don't care, but... Well, I do kind of care, because I need to be able to replicate it. How does this even... Yeah, so if I snipe him seriously point-blank, I can kill him with a nice shot in one hit. I think this double jump is probably the most straightforward of my thoughts, but it's not too hard. It's not too easy to just do. I'm not sure if that double jump wor thing works with the other weapons. It sure wouldn't work with Sea Sting or Shotgun Ice or Heart Shield. Ah, oh, rats, I didn't even jump that time. Alright, let's just wait for it to go around a couple more times. See if that alters the timing at all. It's just weird, because why does this pink blaster give me an extra jump? <laughs> why is it so hard to time? I should almost go back somewhere else to practice this, because... I could try practicing it here. Oh, I can make that jump. Well, that saves me some time restarting, at any rate. Hey, 
hang on, that time the platform was, uh, timed differently. Let's try standing a little bit farther over to the right on this platform this time. No, dang it. It's hard enough without the bat there. There, made it through that for the first time at any rate. Free HP power to replenish myself. Hopefully that should last me a while. Oh, that bat was on nothing. Let's use a uh, shotgun ice to create my ridey platform here. Alright, made it there. Shotgun ice makes that a great deal either. I don't know what I... Easier, I don't know what I'd do without it. Gonna need you again. I wonder, do you... Well, Zero didn't say anything about uh, in upgrading your blaster this time around, so I'm. I guess that arms power up is mandatory. Ooh, whoops. Stop it. Okay. Those spikes aren't uh, placed too unfairly. Alright, just. That works. But now I have to face. Oh, this is probably Chill Penguin. Even smaller stage than last time. Man. I mean, it wasn't super small last time. You'd expect him to be weak to fire. Well, oh, that didn't work at all. Wow, that stuns him pretty good. Just gotta figure out how to use that at its most effective. Alright, you can do a lot of damage this way. I seem to be only able to get three off, though. Let's try another weapon that I didn't have on him before. It doesn't work. Alright, just gotta cling to the wall here. I wonder how my uh, homing tor torpedoes would do. They hit. That's pretty good because now I can f fight him from the wall. I should probably fire them the other way. I'm wasting half of them. I also seem to be able to shoot him when he's up there. So, yeah, this ch chill penguin fight will be far easier than the first time around. I just need to get the hang of it first. Rats. The place where that bat spawned was in my vision, I think, so he's not going to respawn again here. Ah, oh, but that did. Okay, wait a second before jumping, and everything should be good to go. At least this part is at the beginning so I can get the hang of it. Perhaps if I turn around backwards, it will do what most games do and try to shove me backwards through the wall, and uh, then I'd stop ending up on the left side of the platform. Just a thought. Stand backwards. Uh. I felt like I ended up on the right side, but I just ended up falling off anyway because I wasn't holding left any longer. Dang it. Forgot to dash jump, dash wall jump there because it was too fast that I needed to react. I don't want to die now. Dang it. <laughs> no! I killed him when he was above when I was above the hole, so I fell down. Uh Well, shucks. <laughs> that, that's not good at all.
stupid boss ending cutscene killing me. Dang it, the bird's gonna respawn because he does that. I could probably make use of another weapon here. Just saying. I've got like my whole arsenal. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot there's no uh, room before the boss fight, so I'm not gonna get a uh, three hitter on him. Use the easiest thing first to hit with. Fire it in the other direction. Again, meant to fire it in the other direction. Okay. I just saved my life by doing that, so I can't complain too heavily. Alright, now let's hit him with the fire. At least it's a sensible weakness. pattern seems to work fairly effectively. <laughs> oh yeah, that doesn't work at all, does it? Was there anything that did? This one does. Dang it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I thought I was done for, for sure, because he I was like right in his face and he could have killed me with just about anything, but... Well, I'm out of a lot of things. Hopefully the next boss fight isn't too quick. Thankfully I didn't need shotgun ice for that, so I've still got plenty left for this for jumps like this one. Okay, I probably didn't need it for that anyway, but what the Okay, I can drop some R shield on you. Oh no, I don't have any of that. Let's shoot you with E Spark. Hopefully I don't actually need this uh, mech suit, and I wasn't supposed to jump to it. Because if I did, and I'm going to be riding an ice platform instead, I'm probably going to die. Wow, this isn't going to last me, I don't think. Wait, Storm Tornado should have been the obvious go-to on this one. Alright, so... I'm running low on a lot of things. Hopefully I get some ammo and HP soon. Okay, I made it, but... Oh, man. HP! I had one left, so I kind of needed it. Let's go back here and charge up this thing so that I can actually hit. I still have my sea sting available, but uh, I'm not going to be able to get that ammo for any useful capacity. Yeah. Okay, made it. I can blade cutter you. Ow. If I can just get it to go the right direction. There we go. More HP. Oh wait, I can get up there. That's the same height as the tricky jump that was in uh, that other stage, Stink Millions. 
Okay, I can... I, I have a choice with this one. I can put it back in anything I want. East Spark seems like the best option. Now the question is, how do I get there? Ah, oh, whoops. Respawned you. Don't want to do that. Now I respawned you. Don't want to do that either. And now I respawn... Ah, oh, go away. Just let me do my thing. I don't want to die here. And I really hope there was another, not another boss after Chill Penguin. Ah, oh, rats, that's not it. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Checkpoint, that's kind of nice. Now that the camera's over, I can see that I can make that jump. Maybe I'm supposed to be in the mech suit at this point. And I'm supposed to Yoshi hop out of there. In that case, let's homing torpedo this dude. See ya. Now I can shotgun ice my way down there. To make it down there in a little bit more safety. I'm not using it as a weapon anymore at this point, so... Yeah, this is probably how I was intended to do it, not shotgun ice my way through the gauntlet. Oh, the issue is, I absolutely need this, uh... I absolutely need the suit, and... It's hard to get it through. I think it would be easier to kill myself at this point. Rather than try to figure out how to get back into that thing from a different angle. Thankfully, that's one of the squishiest enemies in the game. Uh, homing Torpedo works just fine to take him out, even though it's usually not good for kill- it's not good for killing things that are tough. Hmm. The issue is I can't go forward and kill things- ow, no, can't wait too long either. I can jump into that. Didn't make it. Well, I'll try to do the weird pink jump thing. I'm far enough along that I might as well try it. Well, actually, I don't know if I'd be... Would I be able... Yeah, I can get the mech suit up there, I think. So, uh... Hey, that moment of hovering it gives me is gonna be enough, I think. As long as I'm... As long as I nail it. Shoot this guy in the face. Now to make this jump. Yeah, got it. Alright. A little bit of hovering potential. Thank goodness. Hey, am I gonna be able to get this thing down there? Good, I did. And good thing too, I guess it's pretty much necessary for that guy. How do I get out? There we go. Yeah, that's how I get out. I just press up and jump. Kind of the opposite of Kirby Air Ride, where you have to press down in the jump button. Not that jump buttons are really a factor in that game. Not as far as your regular playing goes. Okay, this is gonna be... Got it. So far, so bad. So, if I take that guy out fast enough, he won't respawn. This guy might be a bit of a pain in the butt, though. Alright, so just gotta concentrate. Or tank a hit. Forget concentrating, tanking hits a lot easier. <laughs> um but it might mess me up for the Maverick that's probably coming soon. Uh, do I want homing torpedo? It seems to be pretty good for the Maverick fights. Oh, Storm Eagle, especially for him, probably. 
I wonder if he has a weakness to something else. Electricity beats flying in Pokemon, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work here. You can tell very easily that this is Storm Eagle's part of the stage. Platforms seem to be even smaller now. Okay, it's gonna come straight back down again. Shoot, that was dumb. Doing it the other way might actually be easier, because that jump is painful. Rats, but if I hit the ceiling, it's also instant death. Ah, it wasn't at all. I was like in exactly the same place. Oh, I forgot to shoot it. <laughs> Stupid. Oh man, that, that jump is pretty tight that way though. Let's try the mech, mech suit tactic again. Yeah, it just... If I'm a little bit faster, I can get out of that. Just by damage tanking through it. And since these guys don't do much damage right now... Ah, go away. Oops, I was dumb. These guys do do a lot of damage. Wow, I barely took anything from that, which I got lucky about, I think. Okay, back to here. I could always use my charges of seasting to get through some of the tight spots here. No. Go away. You are so annoying. That's one thing about this game, the respawning enemies uh, respawning just outside the screen. I wish they gave just a tiny bit more leeway like they do in Mario. Perhaps that's just because it's what I'm used to, though, that I feel that way. Alright. I do not have much HP again. Which means this is going to go extremely well, I'm sure. The platforms are so much farther away this time that... And they're so much smaller. Now, rats! I was just getting my bearings the second time around. Let's pause it for the moment. Okay, ate some lunch. Now let's, uh, whoa, that's my fast forward button and not my dash button. <laughs> well, there goes one life. There goes the second life just through old fashioned uh, clunkiness. Oh, I keep forgetting. I, I keep wanting to do it like Super Mario World where. I have to press a different button to get out of, well, get off of Yoshi. Instead of just pressing up in my button, in my jump button. So I keep panicking, pressing like a random button, and it just ends up being completely useless. Man. See Sting this? Well, waste a little bit of it, but I don't care. I'm not at the point where I really care about the C-Sing's actual shot anymore. Its invincibility is too important for me. It's, it's too bad that the screen scrolls back over. Alright, let's get, pull out my homing tornado. My torpedo. I can kind of hear, using my stereo audio, which direction he's going to be coming from before I even have to... Alright, I can shoot you from there. I'm not going to waste this anymore. It's just two a shot, so it's making a short work of him. But I also don't have much left in me, so I'm probably still gonna die, let's be honest here. Well, it didn't work on him, obviously, but let's see how Blade Cutter does. No, nope. uh, not very good when I mess up my actual dodging. But hard to kill a bird by knocking it down the hole, but you know. Oh, rats. Pretty sure our shield won't. Uh, will our shield be good enough to deal with these guys? Yeah. No, it's not effective at all. Whatever, this one run wasn't going so great anyway, so I don't mind sacrificing it to learn something like that. Sea Sting all the way then.
when our shield's uh, effective, it's generally safer because it's not gonna run out on me unless I hit the wrong enemy. I only need to actually fight one of those guys in, in that situation. There's no way around him other than the mech suit, but... I like how that has a little bit of upward reach. It's not a lot, but it's enough, you know? HP, but again, same thing that could happen as last time. Dang it. It would be nice if I got that off, but... Uh, he didn't do anything at all. Let's jump back here. Uh, maybe this wasn't the best spot to stand. Yeah, he's just kind of descending on me. There we go. Aw, oh, he's leaving again. And now he's coming back again. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Why do I get these two mixed up? Starting to get low, so am I for that matter, so. Jumping to there just gave me enough lift. If he comes back in a decent enough spot, I can kill him with this one. Alright, die. There we go. Pink Blasty nonsense for the win. Is he the only one in his segment? I don't know. Yeah, wouldn't have made that. Nasty after a boss fight to die like that. Oh, what? These wheels do more damage than I thought. Oh, but... Oh, there's a second checkpoint in this level. I didn't know that was possible. Oh, wow, uh... It's nice to know. <laughs> it's very comforting that there can be more than one checkpoint in the level. Because the Mavericks can almost be a boss of their own portion of the level now. Uh... Is this a job for Seasting? Because I don't see another way to do this. Realistically. Unless if our shield protects against spikes, this would be the time to check. I don't think so. <laughs> That's not what I'd guess, but... Nope. It doesn't run out either on spikes, but... That doesn't help much when it's not protecting me in the first place. I don't need more of something that's already not working. Well, yeah, thank you, Mr. Bat. Alright, so... Maverick already, that makes me think that there might be two. Oh, no, wait, this isn't a Maverick, it's a boss. Oh, yeah, this guy. Totally forgot about him. Has he been changed at all? Ow. Well, the spikes do a lot more either way. And they'll figure it out. Oh, what? <laughs> there was a checkpoint just for that tiny little spot? That's... Kind of funny, actually. It was just like one short walk between Storm Eagle and this guy. Okay. 
So the question is, what's the most effective way of dealing with him? Shotgun Ice might be pretty decent, because I don't even have to aim really with that thing half the time. Well, forget the not aiming part. Ow. I was, yeah, judging by the proportions of the walls... Oh, this part's the hardest part. Dodging those eyes isn't a big deal. I had a checkpoint right, him, right before him, so I can experiment fairly easily. Oh yeah, and there's always Harming Torpedo. That's always relatively easy to hit with. Oh man, this is going to be pretty tricky, I think. The nose is the hardest part. around in certain patterns, but I kind of don't have those patterns in my head. I'm going to have a ceiling to bank off of. I don't remember how this boss ring looked before. Oh wait. Do I have to kill all three parts separately? Or is this all one boss? I can't remember. Yeah, this is uh, actually not going to be too bad, probably. Because, uh... Particularly if he's all one boss, and I don't have to kill each part separately, but I swear I remembered killing the eyes individually, separately from the nose. Yep, just beat you back. The nose's attacks on me are, like, are unlikely to be enough if uh, I can kill everything quickly. Yeah, I got lucky there and dodged it. I'll fully admit it, that was mostly luck. Get two shots on him in there. Spikes are the worst. I should probably not cut off the nose to spike my face by running into those things. Ah, okay, yeah, they do die separately. That's not a good thing for me, really, because... He's only got one attack left, but... I'm not sure how to reliably hit him without getting hit. Not sure how I managed to survive this long, but wow! Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to work out when I had that one HP, and it was just like, okay, now the nose is just gonna suddenly bombard me with a million attacks in a row when I could barely dodge them 20% of the time the first time, but then suddenly I went on a streak and got some combination of skill and luck? I don't know. Whatever. 20 minutes to the second half of that. I was like, 20 minutes? That stage went actually really fast, but then I realized, oh yeah, wait, that was the only second half. So yeah, this is, uh, certainly still living up to its difficulty. See you next time.